well, it was in the Bombay Freak House that Ed experienced his peak sexual prowess and charisma yeah, in his lifetime. But, fully saturated, in 20 years of wild experimental sex, he steps back from his natural lust hmm. and experiences a freedom rush of not pursuing sex anymore. Hmm. Transformational atmosphere it was, oh yeah, for Eddie in the Bombay Freak House. Second major life breakthrough when he completely stopped for smoking hashish after almost 20 years of daily use, if he could get his hands on it. Yeah, he, uh, Eddie, check this out. He's a fearless nonconformist, even through his own previous trips and patterns. Entrenched past behavior doesn't need to conform to that behavior. And when Eddie prepares to depart for Kathmandu, the inhabitants of the Bombay Freak House plead, become our guru. We'll be at your ashram. Then nobody needs to score visas anymore. He considers the strange notion as he heads for the train station, get out of there. Uh, he hates gurus. <laughs> yeah, uh. Well, in Delhi, Eddie faces the, his most dreaded moment, showing up at the American Embassy to apply for a new passport. He's got to have it. Mm. He prepares for the possibility that he may be arrested and deported to the United States on the spot, face trial again for drug charges for his escapades in Europe. But... No drama. Hmm? Mm -mm. Uh, phew, okay. Um, yeah, he whistles, past, uh, he whistles past the Marine Guard on his way out of the dock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Final inner demon vanquished. You know, he's on a roll from the embassy scene. He contemplates pursuing the enlightened guru uh, benefit. Rumor? <laughs> Namely, that hippies can uh, reside in India without a visa for the remainder of their lives if they're hooked up with a guru. He actually makes an appointment at the Lok Sabha. I mean, this is the Parliament of India with a high government official to pursue his guru status possibility. <laughs> the philosophical diplomat. Politely discounts the idea. You know, freaks, no, no, bounce. Gotta love it. At least he ran that idea into the ground completely. Yeah. All right. We're all up now. We're all kind of... <coughs> last few years are kind of re-clear. It's beautiful and breezy in the pavilion of uh, Tony Banana. Eight Finger Eddie patiently resumes uh, his life story. As if nothing special is happening. Uh, yeah, the hip beat goes on, huh? Eddie arrives in Nepal after, you know, the winter there. I'm starting that. Anybody noticing a pattern starting? Go in the winter. Nepal in the summer. Ah, uh, yeah, it's early 1967. <laughs> That's when I first went to India as a 20 year old. Mm -hmm. And the most hip and happening place was the hashish salon, uh, the blue Tibetan. Get out of the cold. They got a lot of glaciers in Tibet. You turn blue. You might as well start a coffee house around that. And who does he reconnect with? David and Mary from the Bombay Freak House. Uh, they inquire about his official guru status. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> they turn me down. Yeah. Uh, well, Eddie, uh, David, look, look, Eddie, uh, let's just let's, let's take the natural approach. Uh, wherever you are, uh, that's the ashram. 
Okay. Uh, wow. Eddie is the beatnik uh, uh, generation lounge cat at the Blue Tibetan, and he, he suspects. Harry and David are trying to make a, a hippie celebrity out of him? Shh. Uh, well, oh, here's an example of his uh, quick-witted repartee in the Blue Tibetan. I mean, he's the ruling hip cat. Okay, question. Eddie, how do I become enlightened? Eddie, uh, nothing. Uh, what? Uh, do not want to become enlightened. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything. Well, what will happen to uh, uh, us after we die? Eddie, well, uh, probably the same thing that happened to you before you were born. Most likely you'll be forgotten. But I am an artist. Why can't I? I, I want to be remembered. Eddie, well, what difference does it make uh, when you're dead <laughs> and gone? Yeah, uh, what people say about you? Well, plenty of difference. I want my work to be well known <laughs> and appreciated. For how long? Eddie wonders. Forever? Well, there is no forever. Uh, this earth, solar system, universe, uh, destined says I. Even our sun is going to wink out. Uh, Eddie, you're bringing me down, man. No, I'm only reminding you of the way it is. Just enjoy making your art and forget about being famous. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. I've always remembered that. And that's the basis of me doing this recording right now. I'm not worried about anybody particularly validating what I do. I'm just having a lot of fun doing it. And I'm an artist, and the creativity itself is like uh, the best. Well, one final question. Eddie, look, what's your zodiac sign? Eddie, no parking. <laughs>